Paramahansa Yogananda, Autobiography of a Yogi. Embark on a spiritual journey as you dive into the world of Paramahansa Yogananda, the author of Autobiography of a Yogi. This summary explores Yogananda's extraordinary life, his search for his guru, and his immersion in the practice of Kriya Yoga. A Tale of Mysticism and Enlightenment This book unveils various encounters with revered teachers and guides you towards understanding the significance of self-realization and God-contact in the quest for inner peace. Discover how Yogananda's mission to spread Kriya Yoga and his teachings led to the establishment of self-realization centers worldwide, with a focus on the transformative power of devotion and spiritual mastery. The Yogi's Prophesied Journey Mukunda, a young boy with unique foresight, was prophesied by a famous Bengali guru named Lahiri Mahasaya to carry out an important mission. A deeply devoted child, he spent his childhood seeking his spiritual teacher and embracing the Hindu guru-disciple tradition. When the amulet foretold by Mahasaya finally reached Mukunda, it marked the beginning of his pursuit of yogic destiny and fulfillment of the prophecy. As a child, Mukunda amazed his family with his prescient abilities. When he accurately predicted a boil on his own arm and the growth of his sister Uma's boil, it hinted at the destiny ahead of him. Over time, Mukunda realized he was meant to continue the legacy of great yogis and fulfill a mission that had its roots in the mystical prophecies of Lahiri Mahasaya, who happened to be the guru who foresaw Mukunda's birth. Mukunda's spiritual devotion was intense. He placed a picture of Lahiri Mahasaya in his room and found refuge in it. Discovering the healing power of the saint's image, he overcame Asiatic cholera and often experienced divine visions. He embraced Hindu society's emphasis on the bond between a guru and his disciple, persistently attempting to run away from home in search of his own mentor or enlightenment in the sacred Himalayan mountains. Mukunda's father, a practical man working in the Indian railways, had difficulty understanding his son's spiritual inclinations. However, he continued to support and indulge Mukunda's dedication. As foretold by Lahiri Mahasaya, Mukunda's mother received an amulet meant for her son, which she passed on via her older son Ananta. The moment Mukunda received the amulet marked the beginning of his journey towards discovering his guru and unlocking his full potential as a yogi, ultimately fulfilling the prophecy that had been set in motion before his birth. The young boy's wondrous pursuit of his spiritual destiny would carry him through a life of dedication and enlightenment. Path to Divine Union Mukunda's encounter with his guru, Sri Yukswar Giri, marked the beginning of an incredible journey, learning the significance of Kriya Yoga, the human drama, and overcoming worldly distractions. Sri Yukswar urged seekers to achieve self-mastery and embrace samadhi for true union with the divine. Ultimately, reaching a state where a true master can experience divine presence and summon samadhi at will. When Mukunda discovered his treasured amulet missing from its safe box, he went searching all around the ashram. During this pursuit, he stumbled upon an extraordinary moment that would forever change his life. Drawn by a magnetic force, he encountered Sri Yukswar Giri, a guru radiating with angelic presence. Despite never having met before, the two instantly recognized their deep bond, forged through astral connections. For over a decade, Mukunda, now known as Paramahansa Yogananda, became a dedicated disciple of Sri Yukswar. He learned the value of achieving personal union with God through the practice of Kriya Yoga and the importance of playing one's part in the human drama. Sri Yukswar himself exemplified these teachings, healing the sick while allowing doctors to continue practicing. He encouraged discovering inner truth through meditation rather than merely relying on scriptures. Sri Yukswar broke societal norms and traditions when he held a feast during his mother's funeral, a priest would never dare to do. The sage accepted such contradictions with grace, understanding that the human drama must continue. Through him, Yogananda learned that the world's illusionary distractions, Maya, led humans away from God. Kriya Yoga, practiced by people of all faiths, was the path to repentance and forgiveness, ultimately re-establishing the divine connection. The journey toward divine union requires seekers to achieve self-mastery, 
overcome the ego, and merge with the infinite divinity. Progress is made through unwavering devotion until the believer's physical, mental, and emotional consciousness is ready for the transcendent experience of samadhi. Samadhi, a state of all-encompassing vision and experience, unfolds in stages, culminating in pure, unadulterated bliss. In Samadhi, one sees in all directions, experiencing the divine presence of God and moving between this world and the beyond. Though followers must be guided into this state, a true master can summon Samadhi at will, achieving divine union and experiencing the secrets of the universe. Journey to Spiritual Mastery Mukunda's discovery of his guru, Sri Yukswar Giri, led him on a transformative journey. Through Sri Yukswar's guidance, Mukunda embraced Kriya Yoga, learning the importance of personal union with God, self-mastery, and spiritual growth. True devotion and overcoming the ego would lead Mukunda to the blissful state of Samadhi, where he would experience divine union with the infinite. Mukunda's life was forever changed when his cherished amulet disappeared, leading him towards an angelic presence, his guru, Sri Yukswar Giri. The two instantly connected, and Sri Yukswar promised Mukunda unwavering devotion, mentoring him for over a decade. Under Sri Yukswar's guidance, Yogananda learned the power of personal union with God through Kriya Yoga and the inevitable role of the human drama. Sri Yukswar was a figure of contradictions, personifying Hindu scriptures while advocating for inner understanding through meditation. He challenged traditions, defying norms for Brahmins, such as organizing and feeding people during his mother's funeral. Sri Yukswar often spoke of man's futile quest for truth in a world of infinite relativity, warning against worldly distractions, or Maya. Kriya Yoga practice, available to all faiths, was the optimal path to reconnect with the Divine. The yogi's responsibility was to guide mankind toward repentance and forgiveness of sins or karma, either through personal renunciation or intercession by a guru. The seeker's mission is to achieve self-mastery, triumph the ego, and dissolve into the infinite divinity. Progress is made through ardent devotion until the believer's physical, mental, and emotional consciousness prepares for samadhi, a state of superconscious perception and all-embracing experience. Samadhi unfolds in stages, eventually leading to unblemished bliss. In Samadhi, followers witness every direction, engage with all experiences, and feel God's divine presence. They can move between worldly realities, being here and everywhere simultaneously. While disciples require guidance into this state, a true master can summon Samadhi effortlessly. The transformational encounter between Mukunda and Sri Yukswar Giri catalyzed a journey of spiritual growth, self-mastery, and ultimately, divine union with the infinite through Samadhi. This powerful story demonstrates the transformative potential of commitment, devotion, and embracing the teachings of a wise guru. The Yogi's Inspiring Journey Fueled by his guru's insightful conversation, Yogananda planted the seeds of his missionary work by founding a liberal boys' school in Ranchi, near Calcutta. The school taught students a holistic approach to life, balancing both spiritual and physical aspects. Later, as a delegate at the International Congress of Religious Liberals in Boston, Yogananda faced language barriers, but drew strength from the wisdom of the saints. His success eventually led to the creation of the Self-Realization Fellowship in Los Angeles, a globally recognized organization with numerous centers, temples, ashrams, and schools. Sri Yukswar once asked Yogananda how he planned to cope in his later years without a family's companionship. As a monk focused on self-realization and God contact, Yogananda wasn't drawn to organizational work. However, his guru's encouragement reminded him of the teachings generously shared by generations of masters that directly influenced his own path. This sparked Yogananda's journey of founding a liberal boys' school in Ranchi, where students learned to balance spiritual life with practical subjects like agriculture, commerce, and industry. Conducting studies outdoors and teaching meditation, Yogananda sought to empower children to find answers from within. This innovative approach spread rapidly and led to other schools being established. In 1920, Yogananda received an invitation to represent India at the International Congress of Religious Liberals in Boston. 
This seemed like a significant turning point in his mission, however, initially, he faced a major hurdle, he didn't speak English. Struggling to deliver his first talk aboard the ship en route to America, he faced laughter from the audience. Instead of accepting defeat, Yogananda found strength in the knowledge and wisdom of the saints who had guided him, including the revered Guru Babaji and Lahiri Mahasaya. This fueled Yogananda's success in Boston, leading him to stay in America for 15 years, where he gave lectures, published books, and taught thousands the practice of Kriya Yoga. The culmination of his efforts came with the establishment of the Self-Realization Fellowship Headquarters in Los Angeles, created in 1925. Today, the organization has grown to include over 500 centers, temples, ashrams, and schools worldwide. Uniting East and West Mystics Columbus' 1492 voyage laid the groundwork for Paramahansa Yogananda's spiritual journey, which would bridge Eastern and Western mysticism. Throughout his journey, Yogananda worked to unite mystics across continents by forming connections with influential figures like botanist Luther Burbank and Mahatma Gandhi. He also sought to understand the religious experiences of stigmatist Therese Newman and trace Jesus Christ's earthly path. Upon returning to America in 1938, he rejoiced at the beautiful ashram built by his followers along the Pacific coast. In 1492, Christopher Columbus sought India, but instead found America. Centuries later, Yogananda, a yogi born in India, would also journey to America, representing the karmic link between these two vast lands. As Yogananda traversed across continents, he set to work on bridging Eastern and Western mysticism through connections and exchanges with influential figures of his time. One of Yogananda's allies was the renowned American botanist, Luther Burbank, who developed a myriad of plant and vegetable varieties. Burbank respected Yogananda's teachings and approach to youth education, emphasizing the spiritual union between them. To further unite mystics, Yogananda established the magazine East West, a platform for sharing ideas and insights related to the subject. In Germany, Yogananda visited Therese Newman, a Catholic stigmatist known for her miraculous healing abilities and experiencing Christ's passion every Friday. Yogananda had a profound experience himself when he entered into deep meditation to feel her encounters with Jesus. Seeking more knowledge, he traveled to Palestine to retrace Christ's earthly path. Back in India, Yogananda stayed as a guest of Mahatma Gandhi at his hermitage. They discussed a range of topics, from Kriya Yoga to India's caste system. Yogananda expressed his belief in the inherent good intentions of the caste system but recognized the flaws in its implementation through birth and inheritance. Returning to America, Yogananda was greeted by an unexpected gift, his followers had built a stunning ashram on the Encinitas coastline, gazing eastward. A fitting symbol of the unity between East and West, Yogananda's life and work had culminated in this glorious sanctuary. In conclusion, Autobiography of a Yogi captures the essence of Paramahansa Yogananda's spiritual journey and the lessons he gained through his discipleship under Swami Sri Yukteswar. Delving into profound concepts of self-realization, Kriya Yoga practice, and the path towards union with infinite divinity, this story enlightens the reader and incites spiritual growth. Yogananda's teachings emphasize the importance of finding true meaning from within, transcending worldly distractions, and connecting with the divine presence of God through meditation and devotion. The book also highlights the significant role dedicated mentors play in spreading knowledge and fostering spiritual awakening across the globe.